Now, if you've used the Linux command line at all, you'll be familiar with the sudo command, super user do, that allows you to run a command at elevated privileges, run it as root. And you need that when you want to perform some types of system administration, and it's not things that you want normal users to be able to do who shouldn't have those privileges. So you can set up sudo in a way that you can have access to it as administrator, other people can't. I do have a video here on this channel about the superpowers that you gain when you use the sudo command, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. However, now the good news is, is that Microsoft has announced sudo for Windows. So it's not something that's added on by a third party, this is built into Windows itself. Now you're gonna need an insider build as of the time of making this video, starting with build 26052. And of course, slowly this will roll its way out into the beta channel and eventually into the mainstream. So depending on when you watch this video will depend on which version of Windows you need uh, actually to get this uh, enabled. Now in this video, I want to show you how you enable sudo and how you run it to allow you to run things at an elevated privilege. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so to enable sudo, you click on the start menu, go to settings, go to system, go down here to four developers, and then you scroll down here and there, look, enable sudo, and you just enable it like that. Running the sudo command could expose your device and personal data to security. Do you want to enable it? Yes, I do. Okay, so now that uh, sudo is uh, enabled, we need to open up a PowerShell here using Windows Terminal. Here I've got a prompt. I've uh, made the font just a little bit bigger so that we can see it well. And so now if we do sudo dir, that will run dir with elevated privileges. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's asking me, are you sure you want to run this with ele elevated privileges? So yes, I do. So on Linux, you would type in a password. Here it just goes ahead and asks you, is that what you want to do? Now, if you notice while I was speaking there, another window came up, it did a DIR and we saw all those files whizzing past and then it closed again. Well, <laughs> that doesn't help me very much because I have no idea what, what happened there. So by default, when you run sudo, uh, it actually launches it in a separate window. Now, your way you fix that is you go back into settings where we enabled uh, sudo and then you click on this little drop down here and that appears another menu configure how sudo runs applications in a new window so we want to change that now there are three options uh, this one means there's no input coming into it uh, and this one means it runs it in line which is the one that i want so now we've put that back to in line we can go back to the terminal now and try again sudo dir and it asked me, are you sure you want to run it? Yes, I do. And there we go, it's actually happened inside of the window. So that's more of the way you'd expect to see it, for example, if you were running you know, on Linux. Now, what we're gonna do is you can actually make that configuration uh, using the command line. So if you want to actually run it so that uh, it forces a new window, what you need to do is type in sudo config minus minus enable force new window with the capitals for new and window like that. Now let's just hit enter and see what happens. To run this command, you must be administrator. So here's the funny thing, because when you run sudo like this, you're not actually running the command in elevated privileges or as an administrator, it's just trying to do the configuration. So here's the bizarre thing. You actually have to put sudo in front of it. So it becomes sudo sudo. Okay, and then it will ask you, do you want to run it? Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. And it goes ahead and now force it. So if we do again uh, DIR, we're going to see that it's going to come up in a new window, which is what we didn't really want, but I've done it via the command right now. So to go it back the other way, sudo, sudo, and then you just type normal. Okay, and then that's going to actually run it, change it now. So now when we do sudo uh, DIR, we're going to get it in line like that. There we go. So let's just go through a, an example, a couple of examples. One, of course, is you can run applications now in elevated privileges. If I wanted to run Notepad, I can do that now, running it 
as a, an elevated thing. So this now has the ability to, to do everything on the system. That can be useful when you're running other programs, just showing Notepad here uh, as an example. Or maybe if you wanted an edit, some kind of configuration file that was in uh, an area that needed uh, administrator rights. But a more practical example is, let's say if we go to uh, CD backslash, CD quotes program files. Now, if I wanted to make a directory in here, zob, okay, uh, I can't. Access to the path zob uh, is denied. But if I do sudo mkdir zob, then I say, yes, I want to do that. Yes, I can. So there are some parts of Windows that you need to do things uh, with elevated privileges. RMDIR Zob, exactly the same. Get rid of that directory again, and there you go. So anything you need to do with uh, administration rights or elevated privileges, you can now do that from the command line using super user do, sudo. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.